Hello, my name is Sean Duggan and I'm the Chief Executive of the Centre for Mental Health. We're an independent charity uh, specifically focused on improving the lives of people with mental health problems. And I'm delighted to introduce our new report published today in partnership with the King Fund about long-term conditions and mental health. So it's the cost of comorbidities. The, the report is about the interrelationship, the complex interrelationship between mental health conditions and long-term physical health conditions. For too long, we have been assessing, treating and identifying both sets of illnesses very separately. This report is about the implications of mental health problems in long-term conditions, which lead to poor health outcomes and increased NHS costs and it makes some recommendations about how we can improve how we can improve the services of people with long term conditions uh, and mental health issues. It, it's, it's a significant extra cost uh, if you have uh, a, a long term physical illness and a mental health problem. Um, overall, one pound in every eight pounds spent on long-term conditions is for the mental health component. So if you equate that to the overall spend, it's about eight billion, at least eight billion pounds on NHS spending um, for long-term conditions with a mental health component. And why it costs more is because if you have a mental health component with a long-term condition, it is more complicated it has negative components to the long-term conditions and that results in, for example, increased stays in hospital admission. So for patients with long-term chronic lung disease, um, you are twice as likely to stay in hospital if you have a mental health problem associated with it. And quite often we're talking about depression or anxiety. Um, you also have increased outpatient services um, and appointments. So for example people with long-term diabetes condition if they have a mental health problem associated with it you will have typically twice the amount of outpatient uh, appointments which of course is double the amount of d double the cost. Um, so that's that's where the costs come from. Depression increases mortality rates for people who have a heart attack um, to three and a half times extra than if they don't have uh, depression, if somebody has a heart attack without depression. So it's three and a half times more likely to die after a heart attack. And this is extremely significant. Children also with a long-term condition such as diabetes, um, and if they have a mental health problem, will have uh, longer recovery rates and have more complicated physical conditions. So it also affects children, which has got to be uh, an, an issue for us. And, and generally speaking, people with a coexisting mental health condition and physical, uh, long-term physical condition um, will have uh, less recovery rates, more complicated recovery rates um, and um, more pronounced symptoms. First of all, I think we've got to um, raise the awareness of the problem, and that's what this report, um, at the very least, will do. It will start to get uh, into the public domain that this is a, an issue. We, we need to influence um, commissioners within the uh, health service, and of course, we're going to be embarking on a change of commissioners now, so it's an ideal time to start influencing uh, clinical commissioning groups that will be starting to develop um, the, their own plans. Um, but specifically what we need to do is to integrate um, staff and clinical teams within the mental health field and within physical acute, acute field. So collaborative working, uh, which is common practice in lots of physical um, acute hospitals, should, should include um, mental health. And the, the sooner we can do that, so for example if we have mental health um, practitioners working along primary care, that will help enormously. There have been some tried and tested and evidence-based programs such as psychiatric liaison services within accidents and emergency units in hospital whereby trained mental health practitioners pick up a mental health disorder very quickly uh, when somebody presents with a physical condition in accident emergency and this, if it's picked up quickly, this can offset very long and costly hospital 
admission rates uh, and also uh, double the amount, for example, as I was saying earlier, um, outpatient appointments.